What if GPT-5 can create AI agents that create even more AI agents? Today we're gonna push GPT-5 to its limits to see if it's gonna be able to create a self-expanding agent that designs, launches, and connects to its own AI agents without me touching a thing. Sounds like science fiction, yeah? But here is the catch. There is a huge problem that is stopping us to go fully autonomous. If we solve this problem, it changes everything. Stick around, by the end of this video we will see if GPT-5 is gonna be able to build and launch the self-expanding AI agent which is gonna create tools in order to fulfill the user's request. Let's dive in. Today we're gonna test how GPT-5 is gonna be able to handle my self-expanding agent. How this agent works is we are inputting our request in the chat. It's checking the agent sheet which is this agent ID description and name. If there is no agent it's gonna go and create new agent. How is this works is using the webhook. It hits the webhook of this agent creator. Ask this agent, which is prompted to create JSON format agents for RENA10. It's gonna create a workflow, append it to the sheet, and we're gonna know that our new agent is created. And then the only problem that I have now is with call RENA10 workflow. Here I have to put from AI, for example, and when I put a workflow ID, it doesn't know how to use it. It's not putting the ID here. It can call the NATM workflow tool. So I have to maybe put some another agent where I'm going to feed the ID of the workflow and it's going to be able to call them. But this is for later case. Okay, let's try with chat GPT 4.0 to see how it's going to handle it. Agent creator is also with 4.0 and we're going to see agents appearing here. Okay, let's say how many agents we have gonna check the agent sheet no agents okay can you create no i we're gonna say i need an facebook post writer agent for ai automations and it's gonna go and create the agent and let's see how chat gpt 4.0 is gonna handle this task and after that we're gonna try with chat gpt 5 with the same system prompts everything is gonna be same let's see how it's gonna handle it there are so many cases that you can try it. Okay, the NNA AI agent named Facebook Post has been created. Let's check in the workflows. Okay, Facebook Post AI automation is created. Query string, this is good. We have the input parameter. Credential, we don't have my credentials here. It has to put my credentials here as well. So one mistake, AI agent, JSON query is good in expression. And we have our system message as well. And the structured output parser is with auto fix format. Okay, let's try if we can use this agent. Just to put the ID here. Can you demo this agent by calling it this? Let's see what kind of post is gonna generate us. And we can see in the executions here that it's running, but it's running with five mini. Okay, we have post content work smarter, not harder. CTA one two drop automate image idea before and after graphics. Really good. At least it works. So when we solve this problem with calling the different workflows here, this agent will work. Okay, let's see if we change here to chat GPT-5 and here to GPT-5 to see how it's going to handle the tasks. Okay, let's save this, save this as well. And let's make the same thing. Let's reset this, reset this as well. Let's ask it how many agents we have. As you can see, it is running slower than the mini model because it's thinking more. Okay, currently have one Facebook post automation agent. I need an Instagram post writer as well for AI automations. Let's see if it's gonna be able to understand it and create the new agent, or it's gonna ask us more questions. Okay, check the agent sheet. This is taking way longer than usual, as you can see. It's thinking a lot. I don't know how many tokens it is spending but it is still running for minute and 10 seconds still haven't been calling the tool i don't know why it's thinking that much and it's gonna hit timeout i think <laughs> it's calling the tool now how the creator agent is gonna start to run let's see how long this agent is gonna run now now 30 seconds so only this one was running for a minute to call this tool still running you can see for now gpt5 it's way way slower than the other ones it's taking a lot more tokens as i can see but let's see in the end what is gonna be the result
hopefully it's gonna make the new agent work by the way while we wait and it's been a five minutes please make sure you like the video subscribe for the channel i'm gonna keep making interesting videos for the future and really good projects are coming make sure you subscribe to the email list to get the updates for my new videos and new projects thank you okay it finished the creating the agent and now it's gonna tell us that it's done maybe you can see the code here at least it's created it so it is successful let's see now okay done your instagram post ai automation agent is ready id this is the workflow without touching anything we're gonna use the id put it here and we can see we have only query it says that it has these inputs but we have query only okay let's use this as it is saying example query for generating a post use the created agent to run this let's see if it's gonna be able to work and after that we're gonna see how the agent looking like it called the agent sheet it has to call anything workflow tool now try to call it credential with id doesn't exist okay the credentials are missing again let's go and see the credentials and fix them because we fixed them here so it would be fair i'm fixing the credentials okay now it's saved it tried to call it once one more time maybe it's gonna try third time and the third time it has to it has to work oh it's trying to update now i had to deactivate this one okay when it finishes we're gonna start again let's see okay we have curie we have here json curie we have our oh this is really good we have our oh look at this system prompt for oh, we have a really good big system prompt really complex we have the calculator tool <laughs> and we have structure output parser same again but how to fix format is gonna fix it so this will work but this system prompt is huge i want to see what kind of answer is gonna come from this one okay it is thinking a lot now it hit the update agent it saw that it gave an error and then it thought that it has to clone the existing instagram post ai automation into a new workflow keep all nodes settings identical except set the open ai chat model node to 4 o mini using the same open ai model credentials and it turned the new workflow id <laughs> okay it is really smart now it wants to create clone the same agent and use 4 o mini and explicitly it's saying to it to use open ai model credentials so let's see if it's gonna be able to make it then it wouldn't be able to call it from here because it has to uh, change dynamically the id but i'm gonna put the id it's gonna be okay let's see just when it creates the agent if it's gonna be with my credentials already set in set up it's running for four minutes but this is a smart approach to create a clone a clone the existing instagram post agent with the id and to use open ai chat model so it sees the errors as well okay it is ready now let's see the agent id let me put it here and okay and it is calling it now let's see which one is running hopefully it's not this one <laughs> it's this one okay it used the old id okay it got its answer from here but as you can see it is not the right answer because how to fix formatting is fixed it's creating a new agent now named strict schema by copying the exact code config the code and config of existing post automation agent workflow id as shown in agents requirements keep the same nodes key ig full structure output contract schema post type okay let's see if it's gonna be able to do it it's already running for six minutes hopefully this agent is not gonna hit max iterations 30 so we have 7 8 9 10 13 14 she's creating the new agent so the thing is if someone has an idea just tell me down in the comments has an idea how can i make this one dynamic because i've tried from ai and it does not understand how to put it there i was putting from ai and the id it cannot call it so i have to make it to be dynamic from here from calling it's gonna be really good or the other way is just to put here and execute sub workflow and then i'm gonna make it dynamic but the thing is to be able to get from this agent the answer so this agent can think and use the tools and then it's gonna be the crazy idea is gonna be real because it's gonna be able to self-expand itself whatever agent it's gonna need for any use case it's gonna be able to create it 
with the system prompts and everything and to get the results from here to call the agents this will be really good this is my plan but we will see if i'm gonna be able to achieve it but i think with this thinking process and everything with gpt5 we're gonna be able to do it so for now it created let's see how many agents for now we have one two agents now it's creating the third one but we have to be quick okay oh it called it so quick it called the workflow so quick i couldn't save it okay now we're gonna have the other one strict schema and everything let's see query string instagram post ai automation oh it messed it up here okay let's see here okay the query is here in the system prompt this is still valid and structure output parser is not valid then. This one succeeded because we put our credentials in. So it's going to return the post type and cursor. At least this time the auto fix function didn't work that well. So in the state we have the post type that we need. And in the cities. Oh, okay. And now it got, it had formatted really good. Here's your Instagram post carousel. Could support response. After 10 minutes of thinking and going around and creating three agents. Slide two. Okay, this is a really good agent though. If we can connect it, this for every slide then to uh, generate a prompt. And from this prompt to generate images, collect them to one place and make a PDF from them. And it's perfect for LinkedIn or Instagram carousels. And CTA is safe and DM audit. Free one page automation checklist. Okay, marketing guru. <laughs> Okay, then the last agent. I really like the last agent that it has the user message here. Put the title here, but at least we have the query here and user request dynamic input in the system from. And it's going to be able to use it for real. GPT-5, <laughs> really good thinking, creating agents. It is really slow because it's thinking too much, but at least it's creating really good and comprehensive system prompts. I think using GPT-5 now in our agents is going to open so many doors and po possibilities for us and yeah this is gonna be it i'm gonna include the template of this agent and the sub workflow the creator agent so you can try and create and make sure if you if you make this call workflow to work with dynamic id please send it to, to my email or just write down in the comments below how we can make it work because this is gonna be a really crazy good idea and this is gonna be it like subscribe i'm gonna finish this video thank you very much and see you in the next video thank you